Hello everyone, CS Word here, and have you ever wondered, what is the better way to get experience? Is it by cactus or kelp? Well, we know that the cactus gives us 0.2 XP when smelted, but we get a bunch of cactus green as waste. But sadly, the kelp only gives us 0.1 XP when smelted, but we can use its dried kelp to make kelp blocks as fuel or decoration. So we need to make twice as much kelp as we do cactus in order to get the same amount. But there's a caveat. You see, the cactus can only be smelted in the regular furnace, which takes 10 seconds. But the kelp can be smelted in the smoker, which takes 5 seconds. So in the same 10 seconds, we can smelt 2 items, giving us that 2 difference. So it seems like it's a clear-cut win for the kelp. Or is there? Because we don't know how fast the kelp and the cactus grow. So in order to do that, I've used some command blocks to set up a scoreboard, and it detects when you get a block growth over here, and then it'll sell, say in the chat what our tick was, and then it'll reset the scoreboard. So every time you do that, we can see that the number of ticks have passed, and now all we've got to do is scale this up for the cactus and the kelp. And I'll be right back. Alright, so I may have gone a little bit overboard, but I went ahead and just got every single item in the game. So, for starters, we have cactus, sugar cane, wheat, nether wart, beetroot, pumpkin, or potatoes, carrots, twisted vines, sweet berries, bamboo, kelp, twisted vines, or weeping vines, regular vines, or dripstone, glowberries, amethyst shards, chorus fruit that doesn't grow because I place them too close to each other, cocoa beans, and melons and pumpkins. So, uh, not only are we getting the cactus and the kelp here, but I got all of them. So, similar concept, what I've done is I've just uh, created a scoreboard for each of the 16 items, because each of them are only in one chunk, and then we get a, we detect if it has reached the maximum age, so once the cocoa bean here reaches age 2, it'll immediately replace it with one at the beginning stage, and then what will happen as well is it's going to tell us the score in the chat here and then reset that score. So yeah, uh, already in the short time that I've loaded up this world, we are getting plenty of results, but what would happen if I went ahead and did a tick war? Now, what if I left the tick warp running at maxed out for 24 real life hours? Well, we get quite a few results. I'll be right back. that's done we can look at some of the results so our biggest losers that had the greatest amount of max time is the dripstone which had 803 minutes which is about 13 hours which yeah that makes sense followed by the amethyst which is less than half at 383 minutes and so the rest of them seem to fall within the half hour to two hour range but vine seemed to be an oddball at just under three hours as for the rest of them our winners with the grand minimum is bamboo Glowberry, Kelp, and Melon, Pumpkin, and all three of the vines, which can all happen within 20 ticks, which is less than one second. So congratulations and good to know. Now on the average side, our loser here is the Amethyst, surprisingly, because it has to go through all three stages, and so that takes two and a quarter hours, or 136 minutes, followed by the Dripstone at just under two hours. 
and that's possibly because the dripstone can actually grow within three and a half seconds. Now, if we look at all the rest of the results, they all seem to be on average roughly about the 15 minute range. There are a few oddballs like uh, potatoes here and the wheat, mostly the crops. But uh, moving on, I wasn't done with the results there. So I went ahead and divided them into bins. And so we have for the ones that take significantly longer, a one minute bin. And for the faster ones, we have a 30 second bin. And so what I did was I made those in the charts and we can see that for the larger ones, we do have a bit of skewed data off to the side here. Most of them do seem to happen within the first 10,000 ticks. And so once we get past that point, it seems to be very diminishing results. Of course, I can go ahead and change the axis so we can see the amethyst a little bit better. It's not going to be too much, but as you can see, the amethyst doesn't really have too much of a bell curve, mostly because there aren't that many results to really enforce anything. But yeah, again, kind of cuts off around the 25,000 ticks. But if we were to look at the uh, averages here for, let's say this is the cactus, we see that it kind of peaks around the middle section of the 10,000. Well, going back to our results, we can see that the cactus average was about 47,000 ticks. So it would make sense that the graph here shows a nice bell curve around that average. And so we can also do the same for all of the 600 ones. Now I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of bamboo and you're not wrong, it does grow very quickly. So I'm going to have to adjust, the res uh, adjust this graph, but we see that there's a very skewedness for it being almost in instantaneous or within the first 600 ticks or first 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and adjust this axis so we can actually see. And now we can see a little bit better. I'm not gonna go through all the results, but again, most of them seem to be skewed within the first 30,000 ticks. We do have a couple, these two here. I think that's the sugar cane and pumpkin that are a bell curve right around the 22,000 mark and a bell curve for I think cocoa beans around the 8,000 mark. So yeah, pretty much everything seems to diminish after the 30,000 tick mark though. So that's good to know for all of these faster ones. But going to the results that I actually cared about for this whole video, we go to the cactus and the melon, or the cactus and the kelp. Now, because kelp is at 8.2 minutes on average and cactus on 39.8 minutes per average, it would make sense that we could take half the number of kelp and have it uh, cooked twice as fast in the smoker to match that of cactus. So therefore, kelp is the better XP also because you get a side product of fuel as opposed to green cactus dye that everyone just throws out anyway. Well, anyway, that's all I have for today. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.